Good God, I need a haircut. Well, at least the sun is shining. What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the workshop. Now, a bit of a slow day today, so I just thought I'd check in with everybody, see how everybody's doing, and uh, do a quick kind of vlog style video. You guys can follow me around the shop. I have a couple of little jobs to do, things to take care of. So when there's nothing to be done, there's always something to be done. One of those kind of videos. But uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all doing fine. At least the sun is shining. I badly need a haircut, but there's nowhere to go and get one now, so I'll have to build a jig to cut my own hair if this goes on any longer but uh, yeah it's a bit of a struggle at the minute workshop's a bit of a mess so might as well take the opportunity to give the place a bit of a tidy over and um, do a bit of organization in here what well, i think of the next project that i'm going to come up with but uh, yeah the channel has really taken off in the last week or so um the subscribers have exploded. I've nearly at 5,000 now, which is absolutely amazing. So thanks to everybody. You guys seem to be enjoying the content. So I'm definitely going to keep going with it. And hopefully it's taking your mind off the current situation. But uh, yeah, everybody's kind of struggling with this thing. I've been self-isolating for the last two weeks now. I had a bit of a virus last week. So I had to kind of self-isolate. I'm fine now. Um, I haven't been tested or anything like that. So... I don't know whether I had it or whether I didn't have it, but I have people very close to me who are immunocompromised, so I can't take any chances. So I've essentially been living in my workshop for the last little while. That's why I set up the tea making station and I had the PC in here last week. I was essentially living in here, just trying to stay away from everybody, stay away from family members and stuff, because like I say, I have people close to me that are immunocompromised, so it's a bit of a struggle. And uh, I haven't worked now in two weeks, so I'm hopefully going back to work Monday to do a few bits and pieces. I have a few jobs coming up um, where I won't be near anybody, so I can get them done. But uh, what the future is going to hold for the time being, I have no idea. better i always feel better once the shop is organized and tidied up now the eagle eyed amongst you will notice that the motorbike is no longer in the shop i sold the bike about a month or so over a month ago i was paying attention to this whole thing taking off and i was worried about the economic downturn that was going to take place um, i'm a self-applied electrician and i've had a business in 2008 when the crash happened and in spring 2009 all work stopped the phone just stopped ringing and for about three years after that it was extremely slim picking so it was a very stressful time so uh, once bitten twice shy as they say so i decided i'd sell that motorbike put a few pounds in the bank just a bit of safety money and uh yeah it's uh, it's worrying times ahead on the economic front but i'm in a better position now than i was then so that's at least one good thing i had intended on upgrading a few tools in the shop but we put that on hold for now um, they're only small things, they're the least of the worries that I have at the minute. But uh, yeah, upgrading the shop will be put on hold for the foreseeable future. But when we get out the far side of this thing, hopefully everything will pick up quicker than it did when the 2008 crash happened. It is unbelievably hot today and it happens every year in Ireland. It's like someone just flicks a switch, it goes from freezing cold one day to roasting hot the next day. It doesn't seem to do spring anymore, we just seem to go winter, summer and uh, yeah. So my workshop has gone from freezing cold to roasting hot, but I love the summer, I love the sunshine, so that's one of the positives. I'm going to focus on the positives because uh, otherwise the stress is going to do more damage than this virus is going to do. So trying to keep busy, stay positive, do loads of little projects, and try and get up some content for you guys to keep your minds off, keep you busy as well. So the channel has really grown, so that's one positive. Everybody seems to be enjoying the content and uh, everybody seems to be liking the projects. So I'm gonna keep it coming, keep it growing, and we'll see where this thing is gonna go. So thanks to all the new subscribers, I really appreciate it. All the comments and questions that you guys leave um, spurs me on and keeps me going. So uh, thanks very much. Now, I like to sharpen some tools. So let's do that. This 
this is something I've been meaning to do for a while, so why not do it now? I need to change the finishing film on my scary sharp sharpening system. So this is the first time I've actually changed this since I bought it. I did a review on this, and uh, I have to say, it is a pretty fantastic sharpening system. So uh, I'm going to cut some new strips and get some new tape on this and sharpen a few tools. Something to do, something you can do in your downtime. Uh, Workshop Heaven is where I bought this. Uh, if you want to check out the review, I'll leave a link up here. Again, I'm not sponsored or affiliated by anybody, but uh, they're the guys that sell this kit. And I have to say, I love it. Bit of flow glass, so it's super flat. And the micro finishing film goes from a coarse grit down to a super, super fine grit. Actually, the grits on the back are so fine that uh, they have no ink on them because the ink would raise the grit. So you can't even put ink on them, that's how fine they are. So yeah, they do a super job of polishing your blades and getting them scary sharp. So let's get this done. All right, here's the finishing film and all we gotta do is just cut this into strips. It, uh, you get plenty in the pack, so it really does last a long time, so it's a very cost effective option. You know, just cut and cut them just over two and a half inches wide because that's the thickness of my widest plane blade, and that's as wide as it needs to be using Matt Esley's um, marking knife. I love this tool, it's so nicely made, it's an elegant tool, and uh, the Stanley blades actually fit it, which is quite handy because it's very cost effective. And as soon as the blade gets dull, that's when you can so just pop it out, pop in a new one. So. Matt is one of my favorite YouTubers. I've watched all of his videos and I've learned a lot. He's essentially teaching me woodworking. So it's a, definitely go check out Matt's channel. And um, if you're in a position to buy one of his marking knives next time he does a run, I highly, highly recommend you get yourself one because they're a great tool. Oh, I'm just gonna cut these at 65 millimeters. Just like that. There's really nothing to this now when you stick it on. And I had the green and the pink mixed up the last time, so at least I can put them on the right way around this time. I actually went on this side. Not that it makes much difference, but simple as that. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're all doing well. How is this thing affecting ye? Any of you guys out of work with this? What are you doing to keep busy? And how are you keeping the mind off it? I hope you're enjoying the content anyway, and I hope this is going some way towards helping ye uh, relieve some stress. Because we all need a bit of that at the minute. Hasn't been touched up in a little while, so it's due a little sharpen. Gets used a lot. I quite enjoy sharpening. Um, when you have time, when you're in the middle of a project and something goes dull, it's a bit of a pain, all right, but times like this, when there's nothing else on, and you're just looking to relax, I find sh sharpening tools quite relaxing. Now, you almost never need to use the 100 micron on this unless you're trying to change a bevel angle or something has chipped out and you need to, need to remove a lot of material because that 100 micron stuff removes a lot of material in a hurry. So you usually start from the 40 on down, a couple of strokes and that is usually good enough. never ceases to amaze me just how well this thing works. Yeah, so that's pretty sharp, <laughs> just after a few strokes. It looks like it took, oh, I don't know, a minute. 
think I'll do my chisels while I'm at it. Now the nice thing about these Ashley Oils chisels is they already come prepared. So the backs of them are already hand flattened. And uh, yeah, so I don't have to do any pre preparation on the back of the blade, which is nice. So it's just a case I put the edge back on all these now. I haven't done it in a while and it's a little job that has been needed to be done. I have a secondary bevel on all my blades, so it really doesn't take long to put an edge on them at all at all. I think we'll call that sharp enough. All right, let's get the rest of these done. There we go, that's all the chisels sharpening, or sharpened. So the, that took all of 15 minutes. You know, I could do the rest of my hand planes, but uh, I'll have nothing to do tomorrow if I do that, so I'll leave that for tomorrow. You don't want to use up all your boredom bullets in uh, one shot. So yeah, they're razor, razor sharp now. Great little system that, super easy to use and extremely quick. So yeah, I'll sharpen those plane blades tomorrow. So that's basically what I'm doing in my shop today, just cleaning and sharpening. I'm trying to come up with some project ideas and it usually happens to be the case that I'll run out of ideas in a week and then I'll get five ideas at once. So there'll be absolutely nothing going on in my head for a week and then I'll get five ideas and then I want to make five videos all at once. So right now there's nothing going on in my head and there's not much going on in my shop apart from me cleaning and sharpening some tools. <laughs> We are all tidies and we are all sharp. So there we go guys, just a quick video to check in and see how you're all doing. See what you guys are up to, what projects are you working on, what are you doing in your shops, how are you keeping busy, how are you keeping uh, your mind off all what's going on in the world at the minute. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys are up to. I'd be fascinated to hear about the projects that you guys are working on at the minute. I'm still having problems with my uh, Rode Wireless Film Maker Pro. Or something like that, road, road wireless filling maker. It keeps the disc connecting from the receiver just randomly. So I could be blabbing away to the camera or showing something and then the sound will cut out and I won't know about it. And uh, it's ruining some of the edits. So um, I have the shotgun mic, which is pretty good. So long as you're standing very close to it, the sound is excellent. So that's why some of the videos have, um, I'm not doing too much talking in them because this thing keeps cutting out. So uh, yeah, if I can't fix it, I might have to invest in a new one at some stage. So yeah, that's really all that's going on in the shop at the minute. A bit of tidying up, a bit of sharpening. It's just a quick vlog, just to say hello. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out and enjoy the sunshine now. Maybe a cold beer. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.